Yo, what's going guys? It's Tom. Welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new episode of Cop. And we are here for episode 11 at the Canadian Grand Prix. And uh, if you didn't miss the previous episode, then I do urge you to go check it out in the right hand, top right hand corner of your screen on the card annotation because it's an absolute cracker in Belgium. But uh, we're here in Canada. We've qualified some pretty respectable positions in P3 and P5. Me getting P3 and my teammate, Callum, getting P5. And how do you feel about the race today, Cal? Well, feeling quite good, obviously, coming off the back of the last two rounds. No, what what can stop us at the minute and I think we qualified I think I qualified in P5 last time out as well and ended up first at the end of lap one obviously it was a lot, of, lot longer of a lap um, but we're here in Canada it's a very very sunny Canada it's quite contrasting to Spa and um, it's it's arose some questions about strategy because it looks really simple but it's got basically the one stop versus the two stop and I'm really not sure because I know AOR the two stop was quicker so obviously this is also about again me and Tom against each other, but also Tom ourselves against Mercedes because I think what's the gap now to the Mercedes? Uh, in the constructors, it's 101 points. So right. we've got plenty of points to play for still, and um, we would need a, a big result here today to really try and officially sort of get us back in the mix for it. Um, obviously I'm in P3 just behind the two silver arrows, so my task is simple for the race start. Now is to try and do uh, Max Verstappen from this year and uh, try and leapfrog the pair of them. So, um, yeah, I don't know about you, Carl, but uh, I think it's time to uh, try and go for it and jump straight into it. All right. Here we go, then. Forward red lights. Directly behind you. Hopefully I can try and maybe follow you through. Oh, I'll bog down. Okay, that's all right. The Mercs have had a start. pretty good start, Jesus. Oh, oh the inside of the nose. Ferrari. Almost got my nose chopped off by Bottas there. All right, okay. Couldn't make anything happen there from the start. I'm having a bit of a happy tail in. I'm gonna say, are you enjoying your rear end? All right, let's try and settle into this race. We're in three, four, we're in good positions. We're right behind Already the Mercedes cars. Up one position, yeah. So this is exactly this is like attack formation now, really. All right, let's try and oh, the back end. We're really both not. struggling. I just locked up going into there and really struggled. Vettel's right on my tail now. Need to get into a bit of a rhythm because this could, that, well, we've been saying the past couple of races that our car might not suit the track, but our car definitely does not suit this one because we excel in high speed corners. There are no high speed corners here, it's all about low speed, so we just could be very good on our tyres and straight lines. <laughs> yeah, and straight lines is something that we, well, I, I've put quite low wings on once again just I've to help me along. But I've lost loads of time compared to you three. Oh, I'm picking up a Tom Bottas though, I think it's time for a little dive. He's coming on the brakes, but I'm gonna just. You're on the outside. Oh, that was really close. Is, you've, you've, oh no, there's a huge crash behind. He's taken out Vettel. Huge crash. Bottas once again in the wars, in co-op. Oh, that was very close. Well, Mercedes is down. I tried to leave him room on the inside, but he was never even along at that point because I I got past him in the first part of the chicane, and he's still trying to keep his nose in there in typical AI fashion on this game, and. Uh, he just couldn't. It, there was no way I was going to work. We've got to get our act together at the minute. Hamilton is really trying to stretch our legs at the moment. We've got 35 laps. It's saying that we should take these tyres to about lap 10, 11 ish. Let's see what our tyre wear is like. It's got to be just focusing on the rear tyres. You know, like it is proper stretching our legs. And we're stretching the legs of the whole field. Look at the gap out of Bottas has actually managed to make it back up to P4 already. Wow. That was a good recovery. He never really went for a spin. He did. He took out Vettel. Yeah, but he never spun. As far as I know. I think out of all the tracks on the calendar, this is the track I really wasn't looking forward to. I'm terrible in Canada. We've got to have a bit of a ballsy approach around it. You've got to commit to a few corners. Like, I just want to scream to the ball there. Like, I'm not, I'm not Don't leaving. lose your front wing again. Like, I know it's like almost like a running gag now in this don't, series. Don't jinx me. Well, you're the one jinxing yourself saying that you've been jump, being aggressive around here. It's like fucking Jolie and Palmer saying you have to be alert on street circuits. <laughs> Alright, I can, I can smell DRS from Lewis. I'm almost there. I think he's dropping off, dropping off pace. So, um, at this point you wonder, strategy-wise, do I follow him or do I... Hmm. What are your rear tyres on? Now, uh, 29. Bloody hell, you have been taking a lot out of your tyres. Mine are only 24. 
Right, I'm with. I'm really close to Lewis this time. The move's gonna happen. Oh, bit of lag. Oh, was that could have been catastrophes there. But uh, all right, out uh, here been really poor exit. I'm not gonna lie. But even though I, have the, I don't have the power, I've got the DRS to make the moves. Here we go. All right, let's pick up a tone, Lewis. I'm gonna pull to the inside. Move is done into first place. Do the scruffy chicane. This is going to be right on my tail, even though I've got DRS, so I need to try and keep a tight line for turn one. Right, into first place. Just got to try and keep Lewis behind me now, but um, good pace on these ultras. Obviously, I've taken down my tyres, as we've um, mentioned, but uh, got first place in the bag. Nice no, question of controlling the race, and maybe you, Cal. Um, basically, right now, it's your game. You can roll the dice, so you can sort of approach us. I'm just going to take my time at the minute. I need to start. I need to work with some confidence around here, which, is my, which might be the reason why I go quite quiet in this latter stage of this. And I just need to. I, I just. I can't. I can't find any confidence in the car at all. Well, running a bit hot into there. That's not going to help me. Right. I'll have a pretty good exit though, which is going to give me the. Um, hopefully enough of a gap to Lewis. I don't think it is though. Lewis is a bit close. I'm not going to lie. All right. Let's have a look. He's going to have the RS this time. This is going to be painful but uh, you're still nowhere near me so good I'm quite impressed so I've got the gap I think I've got first place wrapped up in the bag for now I don't think Lewis is going to come near me so now I've just got to try and set some good lap times and then figure out what stretch I'm going to go for I need to put my glasses on <laughs> and that's a weird thing to say after for a race but this is the first race I've recorded in ages that I put my glasses on and I'm actually struggling there we go, just put them on down this back straight. I can see now. Oh, Lewis Pitts. Right, that's very interesting. So, oh, well, I'm going to have to pee, aren't I? I need, to I need to respond to him. Right, okay. Let's push on this in lap. Lewis is going to soft, so I'm going to pit this lap. And I'm going to have to respond to Lewis to avoid the undercut. Right then, so Lewis has forced my hand, like I just said. And um, I probably could have done the one stop, but here we go. Now, make sure not to speed into the pit lane, that's very important, right? I've probably taken it way too slow, but either way, I'd rather take it slow than speed. That's something that we've been doing way too often in Strat Glory and Carp. So, um, right, solid pit stop now, that's exactly what I need. So let's hope for the best here. Lewis is in P3, so he's not lost no time. He's obviously not been hurried up in any traffic, but here we go, 2.9 pit stop. I think this is Lewis coming through the pit straight now. So he's ahead of me, and oh my god, that's a big, big undercut he's got on me there. And I think I might come out in traffic here. Can I come out ahead of the Red Bulls? Let's wait and see. I think I can. All right, yes, I've come out just ahead of the Red Bulls, but Lewis has undercut me quite substantially in them soft tyres. He's, he's over a second ahead of me now. All right, Verstappen's up my chuff. He's got DRS on the pitch straight. I haven't been able to shake him off this lap. And he's going to actually look at my inside of turn one. I'm going to go around the outside of him, and I'm going to defend quite nicely. So... This is allowing Hamilton to really break away for it. So the undercut has actually worked beautifully for Lewis. Mercedes have absolutely done a number on me here. And uh, my in-lap wasn't great. So Lewis has done a really good job of staying ahead of me there. Right then, so I've taken my tyres probably four to five laps longer than all the other guys. A little slow down. Very nicely done. Right, so I'm definitely going to come out behind Tom. Tom, have you got any cars near you? I've got, got a Red Bull, but he'll be pitting, is that? He's probably going to be pitting. Right, okay. There's another so car hopefully going down the road who I think was going to be very close with you. I uh, know they're also in the pits as well. So I'm going to come out in a nice chunk of clear air. And hopefully that was my last stop of the Grand Prix. Right, I'm just starting to find my mojo a little bit now on these tyres, which is good. Obviously, that lap for some ultra soft, but I'm in rich mix. But not for much longer. But I'm just, I just want to use Rich until I get into the DRS of Hamilton, then I can knock it down the stand and try and save some fuel. You had a bit of a moment? Yeah, I just, I'm actually genuinely quite pissed off at how, my pay, how bad my pace is. I'm five tenths slow on the fresh tyres. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong around here. It's just so infuriated because I've been faster in probably the last three tracks. And yet I'm sucking dick so hard here. I'm within the DRS of Lewis, so. I've made it. I've uh, really struggled on this soft tyre at first, but uh, it's taken me a few laps to really get going on it, but I'm now within DRS, so now this next lap is going to get very interesting between myself and Lewis Hamilton. 
Right then, through the hairpin, I'm now out of the. Uh, sorry, I'm in DRS, but I'm out of rich mix, I meant to say. So, um, we're gonna have to try and get past him on standard mix, but he's had an incredible amount of acceleration out the hairpin there, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to have a crack into the final chicane. But if I'm good for these final two corners, which I tend to be, then I can have maybe a crack into turn one. So let's open up with DRS again, and just no, I can't. Lewis has got incredible acceleration, and I say he's obviously really given that grunt out of the corners, which, um, the BMW doesn't really have, but um, I'm still behind him. There is no rush. Callum, obviously, uh, that's a pretty good lap time. Seemingly, um, we'll ignore the massive corner cut for the corner corner. <laughs> but still, seems like you may be getting a bit better on the uh, soft tire. Last thing, I don't know like how, like when you say for good for the final corner, are you like bunny hopping them? Because I like, I feel like I'm going so slow through some of these chicanes. Uh, the the one which the one about... corner. You see why this track's not an AOR. Oh, it's just turned into a good old fashioned dogfight here. Um, Howard, your pace is, uh, is good enough considering me and Lewis doing another stop. Yeah. I forgot to shift down. The pace at the end of the race. Yeah, I just forgot to shift down for a case. I've lost a bit of time. Um, I'm close to Lewis, but I'm just not getting close enough, and he just rocket ships out of the hairpin and out of the chicane, which is not helping me and my DRS calls. As you can see, again, I've had a scruffy exit this time around. Lewis is still powering away here, so. I'm sort of stuck behind us at the moment. I'm, I'm going to try and save a bit of fuel behind him and then I'm going to unleash Rich Mix to try and get past him. But um, Lewis this time gave me a bit more of a challenge than when I last got past him on the Ultra Soft stint. And um, the question is now, I don't know when we're going to pit because um, I was playing on the one stop but now I've had to switch to pretty much the two stop. So I've got to think of a lap to pit. And hopefully it's um, before Lewis pits if not on the same lap because I don't want to get undercut again because last time it hurt me quite a bit. But um, yeah, I'm just sort of stuck behind this now. My rears are going a little bit already on these tyres. This is a very, very really limited circuit, so... It's getting a bit tough here behind Lewis. He's giving me a bit of dirty air also, so it's just getting a little bit tough now. Hopefully I can use Rich Mix to get past him in the straight, because that's the only way I think I'm going to get past him. But this time I'm Rich Mix. I'm a little bit closer, and I should have a little bit more grunt down the straight here. So let's try and see what we can do. We are gaining quite a bit on Lewis, but I'm not going to be close enough. But let's try and stick with him through the chicane. Maybe set ourselves up for a move into turn one. I've had a good run through there, being very aggressive with the rear end. The rear end snapping at me. I'm going to pull to the inside, which will be the outside. For turn one, this is going to squeeze me onto the grass a bit. Can I go on the outside? Oh, it's going to be very close. I'm on the grass. I've got the inside, though, for turn two. Lewis is still on my outside. Back end snapping away from me here. Side by side, Lewis just picks up the acceleration, though. He's just so fast out of the corners. It's unbelievable. And Mercedes just packs so much of a punch. It's unreal. I mean, Rich Mix again, let's try and go for the move. I'm a little bit far back again, so it's going to have to be into turn one again. But obviously, last time we got squeezed into the grass, so let's hope this time I'll try and pick up the inside line. And that should hopefully give me the move if I have a good run for the chicane, which is okay. It's nothing spectacular, but uh, I'm still in the toe. I'm in Rich Mix, so I'm going to gain a bit on Lewis. Can I go for the inside? Oh, I just can't. I can't get him. He's really frustrating me this day because I just can't get past him. Oh, Julian Palmer's coming out right in front of me. Get out of the way, Palmer, come on. Oh, you fucking nonce! I've lost a bit of front wing. Orange or yellow? Red. What yeah. a spastic! On the, on the blue he changed again. his line in the braking zone. Oh my god. Confirm change. And I don't have any super stuff because I didn't think I was going to be using any. How long did I take a set of ultras? Well. Fuck it. We'll be fine. Fucking dickhead, honestly. And he's overtaking me in a straight line, and I'm getting going to cut right in front of me, isn't he? Oh, no, he isn't, actually. Oh, well, I didn't really want to be in the pit lane again, but thanks to some spaz. Oh, that is proper pissed me off, that has. The one chance I had of winning this race was the one stop. What I just don't get what goes to the AI when they change their line in the braking zone like that. If F1 2017, the AI on better are letting you through. I'm just going to cry. Honestly. 
Meanwhile, I've gotten past Hamilton, but um, he's not done with me yet. He's going to go up my inside. Oh, it's going to be so close. I'm going to have to leave him the room. I'm going so slow through there. Right, okay. This is turning to an all-out battle here. Lewis is trying to fight me. Oh, wow. Well, that was very, very dangerous. He's trying to really pinch me onto the grass there. Okay. The battle is engaged and I've had a turbo. He's out of the hairpin. I've already bottled it. I've got on the grass. Right, okay. That's not good. And he's got DRS. Shit. Right. Um, will he pit? No, he stays at one more. Okay, I'm going to follow him around for one more. But uh, this battle is on now. Right, I'm gonna see. I'm preparing myself for a pit stop anyway. I don't. I, I can't be bothered to get involved with that traffic because after what happened to you, there's about ten cars there, and you sure want to get past one. So, right, the other on Lewis. Right, Lewis pits. I'm pitting as well. So we're both in. He's a bit, a little bit quicker on obviously to pit entry, but uh, right here we go then. It's a double pit stop time. Lewis onto ultras. So am I. This is going to be very, very interesting. I'm obviously going to rejoin behind him. I highly doubt I'm going to get a one second pit start, but uh, the quicker the better. There we go, 2.7. Right. Let's go then. Off the limiter. Let's try and get Lewis. Let's try and get him. Get past him. And I will take him. Right, I've now cruised up to the back of Verstappen, who's currently sitting in P3. Just because of my pace advantage. Lap times have not been as impressive, and the, the gap that Tom and Hamilton's got to me now has really irritated me. I'm going to try and just power pass a look at the traction that I've got on Verstappen and these fresh tyres. This has been a nut, like a fully ridiculous lap from Lewis Hamilton. He just put six tenths in me at lap. Okay, Palmer, please, Palmer, please, Palmer, please, 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 please. Please just, alright, oh, there we go, please, thank you. You can lose so much time by missing an apex. Alright, I'm crashing down to the other Renault now, Nico uh, Hulkenberg, so... This should be interesting. Lewis has got to tackle him first. He's going to hit him in the exact same place as he hit Julian Palmer last time. So that's going to be very piss easy for him. I'm going to have to hopefully tackle him on the straight. Good news is though, he will give me DRS, so... There we go, it actually gets out of the way very nicely for me, so that's actually very surprising. Right, so I've got DRS thanks to Hulk and Mercer, it's going to give me a little bit more time. There'll be two laps to go when we cross the line, and I've got Rich for about one more lap, so I need to make this next lap count. Definitely aren't the quicker car around here, but I'm trying hard to make it the case. We've got yellow flag, I think we've got slow moving cars, a lot of traffic coming up, this is going to be very interesting. Vettel's going slowly in P20, I think he's got a puncture. Oh, this is just distractions everywhere and yellow flag means I can't overtake Lewis. We need to get away from Vettel to clear the yellow flag zone. And now we're catching two flipping manners, right? Personal best middle sector. I'm in DRS of Lewis. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We need the points. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm thinking of. Like, I don't even care about the drivers. I'm thinking of the constructors. That's seven points we can get on Mercedes. That's a, bit, that's a lot of points. All right. Oh, the man is going to sub outside for the chicane. I've got my chicane all wrong. Lewis is going to get held up a bit, I think. I'm still following him. We're going to go to the last lap of the race. I'm going to have to knock it down from Rich because I'm struggling for fuel. Right. This last lap is going to get very interesting now. We've got to negotiate the manners. We've got Mick Schumacher next. Verline's been negotiated. Oh, my back end's really not wanting to stick with me here. Right, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's try. Go for it. Schumacher's going to hold us up, I think. Oh no, please don't do a Palmer on me, please don't do a Palmer on me, right, okay, I've I got full on Palmer, I've had to uh, change my line to turn 6, I've lost a bit of time to Lewis, I don't know if I can do it, oh come on, I'm going to have to really push this, I'm going to have to really push it, please save fuel, I don't know how I'm going to do that, I'm 0-0-3, I'm going to have to push this braking zone, locking up the right front, Right, good exit, come on, come on, come on, come on, I'm too far back, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to be very, I'm going to be tough with you anyway. Right, I've only got one more chicane to negotiate, I'm going to have to push it into the final chicane. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, please, 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 no, oh, I didn't no, get it. Uh, I, I was didn't just get it. staying silent, just waiting to see what would happen. 
Oh, I really like, I threw it into the final chicane so much. I'll probably cut the corner a bit, but I just threw it in there. And I hoped that the back end would stick on the exit, and it actually did. If, if, I'd, had, if I'd had Rich Mix, I would have got him. If I'd yeah. had Rich Mix. Look how close that is. I finished literally alongside him. I took the shorter, lo uh, sh uh, the shorter sort of run to the line on the inside. If I just had DRS, I could have got him. But um, wow. oh, Still, that was hard. That's 20, that's that was really hard race. points though. And we uh, do we outscore? We don't. We don't even outscore Mercedes. No, that's what I'm saying. They I needed 35. that. I needed that first place. I needed to that, get that. That was a track where it was a, a lot of what ifs. What if I could have done the one start? What if you could have done certain things throughout your strategy, such as not get undercut? Could have been a different story. But I think that's that is a good example of the Mercedes really pushing us yep. and, and showing that we haven't got the best car on the grid. So oh, we no, need to come this back. Track. I'm not sure what the next track is off the top of my head. I want to say, like, I really don't even know. We might put it on screen or something. But um, other than that, uh, I don't know what happened to Vettel. He had some sort of... <laughs> Puncture right at the end, but I think we can just take a look at the driver of the constructors championship and see how they have changed after this race. And looking at the drivers' championship, you can see that Lewis Hamilton has extended his gap slightly in this Grand Prix, obviously winning the race. And um, Bottas now pretty much within range for me and Cal after today's results. So, right now, you could say me and Cal basically are looking to try and trump Lewis Hamilton up the sharp end, and um, Bottas is pretty much within range. So, one or two good races, and we should have Bottas hopefully um, wrapped up and we should catch him up for second place. So right now, me and Cal, we're doing good business in terms of getting points as a team and really keeping with Mercedes. But hopefully in the next few tracks, we can try and uh, make some time back on the Mercedes cars. But um, looking at the Constructors' Championship, finally you can see that Mercedes have extended their lead by three points over us. So now the gap is, uh, sorry, by two points. So the lead is now um, 103 points between the two teams. So not ideal. And uh, even though we got a good result, double podium, we still actually lost points because Lewis picked up the win, which was something that I was really trying to push for really, really hard in that race. But um, overall, that has been this episode of Cop, guys, for the Canadian Grand Prix. If you guys have enjoyed it, then why not leave a big thumbs up on the video down below. Let's see if we can try and smash 75 likes. Also, go subscribe to Callum. Link down below in the description. If you have missed any of the videos on the screen right now, then I do urge you to go check them out. Also, along with the playlist for this series down below in the, in the description. But enough of that, guys. I thank you ever so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video very soon. Goodbye.